Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome to today's video. I am setting up my Hoonichi Weeks for 2024. As you guys can see, I chose the cover with the cats. I absolutely love this cover. I love the color of it, of the base, and it was just perfect for me. So I am going to be using the Hobonichi Weeks as a more functional, simple planner. This is going to be my carry around planner. This is the one I'm hoping to just kind of scribble things down in. It doesn't have to be pretty, but I may decorate here and there. I'm not opposed to decorating it with stickers and whatnot, but for the most part, this is going to be my fully personal and functional planner. I want to set this up really quick with you guys. First and foremost, I do have a clear cover on here. This is just the Hobonichi uh, clear cover for the week's size. I just slipped it on because I knew I was not going to touch this cover. It is too gorgeous and perfect in my eyes, so we're going to leave it like that on the front and the back. So, moving into this first page here, I did want to put in, what was I thinking? I forget now. I'm just gonna go in with vinyl stickers because it's decorative enough, but I'm not gonna go all out like I did with my Hobonichi cousin. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it here in the cards, but I did like a whole washi dashboard and everything. But in this planner, again, we're going for more simplistic. So my theme in this planner is Marshmallow Studio. If you've seen my previous videos and hauls, you guys know I'm obsessed with Marshmallow Studio. I love the vinyls from them. I love their washi tape. So I wanted to kind of honor this planner with their stickers. So I definitely want to use this planner belongs to sticker. Look how gorgeous this holographic outline is. It's just beautiful. So I wanted to definitely use that. And then I wanted to do, I think this one, because the first thing that you see when you open up your planner, and this is my story, I think is a perfect little quote to kind of encompass my planner, because this is going to be my personal planner for the entire year. So that, and then I love this little rainbow guy, so I might just stick him in the pocket like that, because I think that would be cute. And then the only other page I really wanted to decorate was this one. So I brought out these two. I, was that what I was thinking? Or is this one on top? I don't know. I kind of like the buy more stationery. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to do that, right? Yeah, I think we're going to do that. And then obviously I'm going to tab it up and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use my planner afterwards. Okay, so let's just jump into this. This doesn't have to be complicated. I'm literally just placing four vinyl stickers. Again, I'm not going all out on this setup. I obviously might add to it later, but for now, I think I want to keep it kind of simple with this right here. You know what? I should get my, where are my tweezers? Here we go. Okay, tweezers, just so I can have a better look of where I'm placing this. So let's put this right here, let it go. And then obviously I can write my name right there. This is my story. I really like how these colors go together. I think it's really nice. So I'm kind of happy with this decision. Um, I am going a lot more um, whimsical with my planner setups. I just love these characters. I find them so cute. And yes, I am in my 30s, in my early 30s, but I've always been a sticker person, a creative person, a scrapbooking person. So this is just my personality. <laughs> so cute. And then I'm just going to keep, whoa, <laughs> I'm going to keep this one here and I'm not going to stick it down because it sits in the pocket nicely. All right. And then, yeah, I think I want the stationary one on top. So we'll do that really fast. And I'm going to try to center this as best as I can. And I'm going to link Marshmallow Studio down below just so you guys can check out their website. Again, absolutely adore the website. 
and the owner and the designer and all of that. Oh, that looks so good. I could add like little stickers around this, but for now, let's just keep it simple. And if it does change, you guys will see it in other videos and I will let you know. But I love this marshmallow character. Um, the name of this character is Coco. So it's just so cute that it's a marshmallow sitting in a cup of hot cocoa. <gasps> love it. Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Okay, so now let's get into the tabs. These tabs are from the Coffee Monsters Co. I just love her tabs. They're really cute. They're simple. Um, and I got this white colorway. I figured I would keep this one pretty neutral because the cover is just going to stay as it is. So I'm going to go in with these here. I don't think I'm going to use the yearly sticker because it's right here. But even the monthly. Nah, I don't know. Should I use? Okay, I'll do the monthly. We are pretty much finished setting up the Hobonichi weeks as of right now I might go in and add a few more stickers and things maybe later if necessary but for now everything's done tabs all of that but I did want to take a moment to go in and talk about how I'm going to be using my Hobonichi weeks for 2024 I'm doing this because it was quite a simple setup and I figured you guys are curious so um, this section right here is kind of like your several years in a glance, 2024, 20, 23, and 25. And I just have a sticky note here to mark Lunar New Year. I do celebrate Lu Lunar New Year. I am half Vietnamese. So um, this is a par particular holiday that changes along with um, Thai, Cambodian, La Laos New Year, which I'm also... Thai and Laotian so I figured I can mark these particular holidays down here because you know these dates change often let me actually just take a second and look up when Thai New Year is so I can put that in as well I'm going to use the Pentel Energel Klena in 0.4 to write in some of these important dates I don't think I'm gonna mark like my birthday my parents and you know my boyfriend's birthday because I know when they are I, I might mark them with like a color but to write down here I'm going to do Lunar New Year which is going to be February oh is that 10th I, I don't know what I wrote down February it's February 10th Feb 10th this year and then Thai New Year Hi, New Year. Ooh, my handwriting is a little rough, but it is what it is. This year, it's April 13th to the 15th. They do a long celebration, so if you guys didn't know that. April 13th to the 15th. Okay, perfect. So I can get rid of this sticky note. So that is pretty much set and done. Now we're going on to our year at a glance type of thing. And I do plan on using this as a workout tracker. So treadmill Pilates, walk 30 minutes plus, 10K steps and weights. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. I don't know exactly how I wanna track this, whether it is with markers, dot markers, um, color coding. And I actually don't know if I can include 10K steps yet because I don't have a functioning Apple Watch to track my steps, but if I do get that, obviously I will incorporate 10K steps and I will do a key up here, but I'm gonna wait until I get closer to January to set this up because it's still November and yeah, I, I don't know what how I wanna do this yet. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. This is the December monthly here, and for this, I'm going to be using this functionally. This is gonna house any holiday things that are happening, appointments, um, the days that my cleaning lady comes, 
um, any events with my friends, birthdays, all of it. So this is kind of what my December looks like so far. It's pretty busy and I think I still have more. So I'm going to be doing monthly setups with you guys. So keep a lookout on that video coming soon. I do wanna maybe try to decorate this a little bit and yeah, that will be coming soon, but that's how I'm gonna be using my monthly, very functional appointments, holidays, you know, obligations, things like that. And then we're going on to our weeklies, and my weekly section, um, this starts in November, so this is actually coming up soon. I gotta do this soon. And again, I'm going to maybe do this first few weeks off camera, but in January or December, I will start to film these. I think they're gonna be more functional than decorative, but I do wanna pull in a few, you know, washi tapes, markers, maybe stickers, but we'll see. So this side I'm gonna definitely be using functionally with appointments and then a to-do list. And then over here you guys can see, I've been trying to plan things out on how I want to use them. I'm going to be um, tracking meals and meal ideas. And then I'm gonna do some habits here. And then I'm also going to do a mood tracker. I've never tracked my mood before. So I figured this would be a great way to look at that on a daily basis. So again, functional to-do list, meals, habits, and mood. In the back here, in like the notes section, I do wanna track any movies or shows I watch in 2024 and then just rate them so I can see how many new movies and shows I've seen and what I thought about them. And then on this page, I do wanna have a reading log. Again, I'm not sure what that looks like just yet. I think it's gonna be very simple, um, kind of like book and then rating, same thing with the movie movie or show and then rating and my thoughts. I could jot down a few thoughts as well. So yeah, that is pretty much how I'm gonna be using my Hobonichi weeks. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how you guys use yours, let me know. Um, journaling, memory keeping, all of that will be in my Hobonichi cousin. So definitely check out that setup video if you haven't seen it. I'm really excited about using the Hobonichi weeks. It's tiny, it's functional, I can take it with me. And yeah, I might even use this as a grocery list sometimes, but we will see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Follow me on Instagram. I have a new Instagram all about my planner items and spreads. And yeah, subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.